Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, February 1st, 2024. May the God of peace be with you today and may he continue to watch over you and keep you and your families. Our reading today comes to us from John chapter 15, reading verse 11 to 27. It says, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Verse 12, This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. 13 says, Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. 14. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. 15. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. 17. These things I command you, that ye love one another. 18. If the world ate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. 19 says, If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sin. 23. He that ate at me, ate at my father also. 24. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. 25. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Holy Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. 27 and last says, And he also shall bear witness, because he have been with me from the beginning. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word, and we thank the Lord for the privilege to share in his word another morning. And as we open this new chapter, the 1st of February, may we allow the Spirit of God to move in our life, and may we continue to trust in Him. May we depend on Him who is able to keep us. Now we are encouraged this morning that we should love one another just as the Lord loved us. And so if we love one another, we will treat each other with kindness, with respect. We will look out for each other. So it's not a new commandment. Now it goes on to say that greater love is demonstrated in the willingness to lay down our very lives for our friends. No, I'm not saying to any of you that you should go and kill yourself or anything like that. But what I'm saying is that take a page from God in context. Jesus was willing to lay down his life for us. Why? Because he considered us his friends not just his creation but he call us friend so in context of everything the point is that we must be willing to go beyond the norm for someone that we consider our friend or somebody or someone that we love and care about so that love will be demonstrated in our action towards a person that's the point that it's making there now jesus says that when we are obedient to him and to whatever he, he commands us to do, then he considers us to be his friends. If we want to be the friend of Jesus, then we are to walk in the way that he is guiding us. 
Amen. It went on to say that a friend is somebody who you share personal information with. Meaning that you always have them in the know. And so you wouldn't treat a friend like a servant. Because you don't tell your servant everything if you have servant. Or you wouldn't tell your acquaintance everything. Because your acquaintance is not necessarily your friend. But your friend, especially if it's a close friend, you will tell that friend everything or most things. Things that you, th you think is important for the friend to know. So that friend would not would not be left in the dark. So in the same way he's saying to us in verse 15, he says that, I call you not servants, but friends, because the servant do not know it. Because the servant don't know what his Lord do. But a friend will know. You understand? And so the Bible, there's a song that says, What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to be. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Beautiful, beautiful song. And the statement is re-emphasized that we should love one another. So do you see how important it is for us to be loving towards each other? It's not something that we should take for granted. The Lord is big on love. And if we are walking with him, we need to be, we need to be big on love too. The reason the world hate us it's because it hate god so we can't expect that the world is gonna hate god and love us and we are following god do you get what i'm saying so if we are identified with god and the world hate god naturally the world is gonna hate us too do you understand so when people treat you a certain way and when people look on you funny just because you are serving the lord don't feel bad it's the same kind of treatment jesus got when he was here and the bible says that we are not greater than god the servant is not greater than his master so you can't expect the master to endure and to go through all of that and then you and i the servant or the friend don't experience any of that so we will experience hatred from the world but don't be discouraged because we know that we have a friend that love us and that friend is Jesus. Amen. And just to make a note here, remember that you don't have to do anything for people to hate you. Jesus never did anything to these people, but they hated him. So you don't have to always do something for someone to dislike you. Yes, sometimes you can do something and the person dislike you for what you did. But a lot of time people dislike you just because they dislike you or just because you are an upstanding person or you're a person that stands for principle and your principle goes against their principle and so they feel that you just don't belong just like they treated Jesus and so keep that in mind okay this is what I love about God you know he never leave us in darkness and he never left us to fend for ourselves alone hear what he said in verse 26 he says when he is gone he is going to send the comfort of the Holy Spirit to be with us. And that same Holy Spirit is going to testify of him. So he will be there to help us through the process. So when the Holy Spirit come and is there comforting and holding us and guiding us, we will see the hand of God working. And so let us understand that God's word will not return to him void he promised that he will take care of us and so he will he has made all the preparation for us and so this same god who has been there for us from the beginning is the same god that will be with us now and that will continue to be with us to the very end so friend as we think about reading this morning may we find comfort and may we use it as a form of encouragement to keep us focused and not to become distracted by everything that is happening around us. But just keep our eyes on Jesus who promises us that he has gone to prepare a better place for you and for me. And so let us help each other to walk circumspect, help each other to stand firm on the word of God and to keep faithful until he comes back again. God bless you and have a wonderful rest of the day. Amen.